I think we can all agree that the best character in the game is Amber. I mean, just look at her. She has a bow, she has a burst, and you probably already know how good Baron Bunny is. It's no wonder her name is feared by many. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. <laughs> And after doing my last Genshin playthrough on realistic difficulty, I felt that I should make the game a lot easier. The rules are pretty simple. We can only use Amber. All bows are allowed. So if I pulled the Skyward Harp, I would be allowed to use that. <laughs> like that's ever gonna happen. All right, so here's the game plan. Before we beat Mondstadt, we need either a four star bow, ideally the Rust or the Strangless, or a constellation for Amber. If we don't get one of those two weapons, it's not the worst thing in the world because we have a guaranteed Favonius Warbow. The reason we need this before we beat Mondstadt is because we need to save Primo Gems for Leeway since the AR gaps between the quests are ridiculously high and we need to use the Primo Gems to make more resin. Once Leeway is done, we have to get to AR 30 in order to get to Inazuma, but the Danesliff and J Chamber quest will put us like 300 XP away from 30, so we'll be fine. Once we start Inazuma, all we have to do is just beat the game as fast as possible. So let's see if we can beat Genshin Impact only using Amber. We start our journey by meeting our protagonist. <laughs> Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And at around the seven minute mark, we were able to witness Amber's true power. Six? Which is fine. We head into the city, learn how to glide, and we unlock the best feature in the game. Give me Amber. No. Really? That's not the four star I needed, no! Three? We level up Amber and our recurve bow up to level 20, and we head out to the first temple, which was pretty simple because, you know, it's our temple. Next is Kaya's temple, which was also fairly easy because we just walked around the fire and jumped over the spikes. <laughs> and we get a constellation for our Kaya. Which is more than what I have on my main account. Finally is Lisa's temple, and we proceed to just walk right past her because we do not need her for what we're about to do. Normally, Lisa's temple requires Electro, but you can skip that part entirely if you just use the wind current and glide over to this part. What? Huh? What? What? Come on. <gasps> yes. You've never seen a vision? Just where exactly are you? Oh, we were right there, man. It took me a while to reach this spot, but eventually we were able to hit the right angle and we finished the temple. And we get locked out of the next quest. Uh, what? What the heck was that? After 40 minutes of grinding, we reached AR-10 and started wishing again. I thought that was it! No! Why do I keep getting these? This is not real. Now it's time to go back to Mondstadt. And it's around this time I found the best part of this challenge, having Baron Bunny in the cutscenes. We fought the Eye of the Storm at the tree, which went a lot better than it did with Goku, and we headed out to the cathedral. Hello there, sister. Which means we get to do... The Luke takes us to the hideout, and I managed to break a world record. What? For being the first person to have died at this part. Yes, yes, thank you, thank you, it is a big arm. We take the boombox and encounter my long-term enemy in every single playthrough I have of this game. 
NPCs standing by the door. Oh my god. Afterwards, we find the three tiers needed to repair the boombox, and we head to the cliff. And since I didn't feel like waiting to get 10 wishes, I decided to just do one pull to build some pity for a four star, and this happened. Perfect. We quickly equipped our gift from God and leveled it up to 20, and we go up to the cliff to summon Devalin. We found a way to make Baron Bunny even more useful than it already is, and we explored the rest of the map to gain some experience. Now, some of you may have noticed a big time difference between waypoints, and it's not because I'm slow. I'm fast. I'm so fast, you couldn't even comprehend how fast I am. I suffered through the worst form of torture that anyone can go through in this game. Let's look at Amber's Ascension materials. Okay. That's not so bad, I can just buy those from the shop. Seems simple enough. Oh, what the fuck is that? It took me 28 minutes to beat the Pyro Regis Vine. This was probably the second worst thing that has ever happened to me in this game. The Pyro Regis Vine has around 15,000 health at level 36, and this is how much damage I do per shot. If you take those numbers, average it out, you get 11 point four damage which means i shot around 1316 arrows to kill this thing mathematically speaking of course i'm not counting this and remember i need six of these things <laughs> never again oh i can't be too loud <laughs> day two We ascend Amber and level her and our Rust up to level 40. Then, we take on the Regis Vine because I would rather fight it now than when it becomes a higher level. This time it only took 8 minutes. Not too bad, but it still feels like an eternity. Yes. Yes. We do Amber's story quest and hear the most annoying sound in the game. Another test subject. But, if you listen carefully, the wind the wind says I will make it, and that's good enough for me. <gasps> Some of you may remember that I used Cecilia Garden in Goku's playthrough to level him up quickly, but we can't do that here because reasons. So I found a new farming domain in the Trial Grounds of Thunder, which sped things up immensely. And it gave us the second most satisfying sound in the game. It only places slightly lower than this. Then it's back to more marathon gaming. Uh-huh. Yeah. You've gotta be kidding me. Hey Shang Ling, how can we tell if a tweet is bad? Depends on the ratio. After six hours, we hit AR-18, and we can finally finish Mondstadt. But first, let's look at our artifacts. We are running the two-piece martial artist and two-piece berserker set, so that way we can do more damage with our bow, since we don't really need to build around Baron Bunny because it just one-shots everything. Hold up. Look, Pim. I know it's our job to help this guy and everything, but I think this guy's a lost cause. We entered Storm Terror's lair, and with the power of Baron Bunny, we were able to one-shot Devalin. Just now. Why? Why are you dressed as a femboy? Huh? Her outfit isn't updated. She is here to retrieve the holy liar to Hamel. Then we talk to Venti and make our final wish in Mondstadt. 
Is this a joke? Day three. Another target tracked down by Outrider Amber. Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! Ta da! <laughs> Barbara is here. Leave the healing to me. I won't disappoint you. Whoa, wait. Why would they make her say that? That's so weird. Ta -da. The Dark Knight's Master D Luke? What? No way. He does not sound like that. Hold up. Please. Yo. Hey, we've been with you all this time and you. Goodbye. <laughs> Give me two, give me two, give me two. Let it rain. Finally. After four and a half hours of grinding, we were finally able to start the Li Wei Archon quest. What? We talk to Tanjiro and he gives us his strength. Hey Moon Guy, what are your thoughts on Yaimiko's gameplay? Utterly disappointing. To the blind, <laughs> everything may not be as it appears. Well, the blind couldn't see it in the first place. We fight the Ruin Hunter, and although it's still very annoying, we were able to take it out with no problems whatsoever. No! <laughs> what? Stop! <laughs> you two. Shatter the amber, so if you insist. Next up is the Cloud Retainer Temple. Normally, I could just activate the Pyro Pillar to beat this quest, but the problem with that is that I'm not a bitch. So check this out. No, 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 that was it. Yes. What? Oh. What? Yes. Finally. Yes. Finally. Bet you can't keep up with me. Bet you can't keep up with me. Finally. Give me two. That's Don't all I ask it. for. Wait, wait. I'm gonna have to do it again. No. We hit AR 25, ascend everything, and enter the ascension domain. We defeat Aleph, and we are rewarded with wishes. Amber, 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 Amber. <laughs> now it's back to Leeway. Please. How? <laughs> Toe. <laughs> She's dead. Besides fine wine. Ooh. The, excellent Ooh. the Coco Go interrupts our date with Zhang Li just to tell us that we're too broke for Lady Ningguang, and she locks us out of the next quest. Oh my god, man. I'm so tired of this. <laughs> Minecraft. We grinded some more, but after playing Genshin for 11 hours straight, I needed to get off for the day. Please. You got yeah, that's me. enough Genshin for the day. Day four. We hit AR 28, and we are finally able to finish the Leeway Archon quest. Yes. We climb up the mountain and see the Animo mechanism that leads to the objective. Do you see a problem here? Well, I don't, because I thought of a plan. I farmed animal butterfly things, yes, wind wheel asters, and crystal ores, all in preparation for this. I crafted the wind catcher, so that way I could use the power of animo on this mechanism. I wasted all that time for nothing.
I tried to get there from the tree, and that didn't work. <laughs> no. I even tried to go into that mountain. Yeah, you see that big mountain over there? Surely that would work, right? Nope. So I had to do something special to get there. Windblade! How does she walk like that? We get to the chamber, blow up the evidence that Ningguang has against the Fatui, and sing to some plants. Fortnite battle pass. I just shit out my ass. And now we get to my favorite part of every Genshin playthrough. Beating up a child. This chance is hard to come by. Not bad. Not bad. Guess I should take you a little more serious. Oh! If only that's how that worked. If only. So if you didn't know, if you just stand here, child won't attack you. And if you actually go around this whole area, he will not attack you. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. What? It's time for the final act of the leeway quest, and I managed to break another world record for being the first person to die on this quest. Oh, that was nice. I could see that. I have to watch this again. Leeway is finished, and now all we have to do is do the Danesliff quest and the Jade Chamber quest, and then that'll basically put us at Inazuma. This then you are a lot like her. that you're different from her. Oh wait, it actually changes. Wow, I did not actually, I did not know that. I thought it was all the same. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Just give it a button. Get it. Oh, this character is so good. They did a great job designing her. Tomorrow. <laughs> we reach AR 30 after making it to the 22 hour point and ascend everything to its highest level. Except for Baron Bunny, because it's so reliable that we don't even need to use the materials on it for it to carry us. Ichi's birthday, uh, no thank you. We head to the Alcor. Wait, uh, compete time. in the tournament. Hero? <laughs> if this is where talking gets me, then forget. What are you trying to do? His voice sounded completely different a moment ago. Though brightly, become buried among the ice cold statue of a god. Where were the subtitles? And we set sail for Inazuma. Hey, buddy, hold still. Why? Ah, Chief, you've arrived. He has some big ass feet. Oh my god. Perhaps you could show the young. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, don't show that out here. No, ooh, ooh. Can cockroaches live in your penis? We meet the best girl, Chisato, who, fun fact, was voiced by the Raiden Shogun. My father has always forbidden me from communicating with him. This is one change that I shall not contest. I'm perfectly all right. And we watch her friend zone some guy. I'm not afraid to say that he's the one I- The one you love? <laughs> Shinoja. Poor guy. Did you want what? Chisato. Come now. <laughs> Put your staring and let's get moving. We've got goods to shift. He's so sad. <laughs> All right. Virtue and justice. Who was his dad? Aristotle? Yet unable to cope with his wife. Unable to cope. <laughs> unable to cope with the fact that he lost 50 50 to Chi Chi. He now struggles from having a schizo meltdown. <laughs> Pleasure meeting you. Huh? Oh, that's a perfect shot. You Thank you. 
After those boring quests, we finally get to do something. We go into the police dungeon and fight some very questionable AI. What is, what is he doing? Are you kidding me? How was he out of range? There have been enemies that have uh, chased me from across Mondstadt all the way into Leeway. And we rescue Master Masakatsu. That was amazing, Ayaka. You no, didn't do please, anything. I know just as well as anybody else that I've got no friends. You know what that means? No, what? It means you have no skills and you're a loser! <laughs> <laughs> Great, you know. We're kind of similar. Yeah, we Sometimes both have siblings. I That's all I need to Please. see. I'm gonna go get a drink now. Keep your eyes on me. I have officially spent 24 hours playing as Amber. It's... Yay, now we can do main stuff again. You call this cooperation? Cooperation involves communication, you know. Now we get to fight the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Muso no Hitotachi. Which wasn't that hard because of. Kid, where are you going? You're lost. More lost than Amelia Earhart. Little I can't Lee. fucking compete! I just can't Don't fucking compete! Oh! Can you get the fuck out of my face? What are you doing? Literally free, so free, free than McDonald's Wi Fi. God, I wish that was me. Wait, what? Hey, girly, hold still. <laughs> Next, we go island hopping so that way we can meet a furry. Thankfully, we do the archery practice without any problems, and we head to the front lines to engage in some Agni Kai. We reach the ruin site, which is a problem because, yeah. So we have to use the purple lady. We beat the Biggie oh, Churl and watch Tepe die. But this does put a smile on my face. Afterwards, we head into the delusion factory just so we can get drugged by the edgy anime kid from school. Feet Lady saves us, and we do the anti Raiden Shogun training. Hey, I, who's your favorite Minecraft YouTuber? Dream. We beat the entire Kujo clan, and we get to hear the best line in the game. None can contend with the supreme power of the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Muso no Hitotachi. Then it's time to smash Senora. I challenge you to a duel before the throne. Oh, Mukatte Kurunoka. Then we leave the temple and get ready to fight the almighty Raiden Shogun and the Muso no Hitotachi. Out, Meanie! Uh, I'll never surrender. My vision 
is a sign that the Archons yes, believe go, go, in me. Baron Bunny. Yes, sir. I must become the best let outrider I can possibly be. can't keep up with what you. What about you? Hey, I won't let you down. Outrider Amber, report. Remember that I don't go easy on anyone. I can handle anything and everything. the other world wow. beyond. These will come I want to see how deep the rider will go. Today is another another time day. to track down by Outrider Amber. Get ready for the gliding champion of Mondstadt. You've lost, eh? Yes, I have. But consider this. After spending 26 hours, 14 minutes, and 9 seconds of my life, we were able to beat Genshin Impact with the best character in the game. And what better way to cap off a journey than with a wish? Okay. Amber. Are you fucking- Tell me why.